by Odin's beard. This is Marvel from the past. Hello fellow followers and welcome to Fan Scene. Today we will be discussing the 1988 TV movie The Incredible Hawk Returns which sees the return of Bill Bixby as Dr. David Bruce Banner and Lou Ferrigno as the Incredible Hawk and introducing Eric Alan Kramer as the, the Mighty Thor. Um, now this movie aired in 1988 on TV. It was not one of the ones that went to theaters like the Captain America and the Punisher movie. Uh, but this movie I think is a really good movie. Once again, you know, as all previous comic book movies, there is a lot of alterations into, uh, you know, Thor and the Hulk and Mjolnir and all them as well. Um, uh, it's a pretty good movie. It's a pretty good TV movie. Uh, you know, as with most of these older movies and Marvel movies, they are cheesy and uh, they are not quite comic book accurate. But I enjoy them. I like them. So if you have not seen this, I would say check it out. It's pretty good. Uh, it's pretty interesting to see uh, this version of the Hawk and this version of Thor interact with each other uh, well before uh, Mark Ruffalo's Hawk and Chris Hemsworth's uh, Thor. Um, both their powers of the Hawk and Thor in this are a lot more limited than what you're probably used to seeing. Uh, you know, in, within this movie, uh, it, 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 try, it tries to sort of act as a backdoor pilot for a Thor TV series that was ended up to never be produced. So let's dive into this thing. Um, it's been two years since Dr. David Banner has transformed into the Hawk and he's been working at this uh, laboratory uh, trying to make this gamma thing to help cure him of the Hawk. And he has fallen in love with a uh, widowed doctor there named Dr. Maggie Shaw. And, uh, you know, he's been living a quiet life, you know, trying to work on this and found love and everything. And then a, one of an old student of his uh, recognizes him, his old student being Donald Blake, who is also from the Thor comics. Uh, now, in the original Thor comics, Donald Blake and Thor sh shared the same body and uh, they would switch with due to a magical cane. In this, uh, Donald Blake uh, tells uh, Dr. Banner um, that on an expedition to Norway, he came across a powerful ancient uh, Norse hammer, Mjornor. And uh, with it, when he picked it up, he, he came in possession of Thor. In this, it, it, once he holds the hammer and he uh, calls for Thor, Thor shows up and Thor has to do his bidding. Uh, so, and he's trying to have get Dr. Banner to help him out with this, and uh, so he shows him this, and he, and you know, the, the hammer in this, uh, Mjolnir, is not beholden to the enchantment of uh, whosoever be worthy uh, shall will the power of Thor. And this, it, anybody can pick it up. Uh, like I said, not comic book accurate. So, like, he calls upon Thor to prove to Dr. Banner, uh, you know, uh, how how this happened and Thor and everything and Thor shows up and he's you know he's arrogant he's cocky and he starts uh, basically picking on uh, Dr. Banner and uh, he ends up making him turn into the Hawk and he thinks it's a green troll and they get into a big fight and it set back it sets back uh, Dr. Banner's work uh, over these years trying to you know cure himself and so he you know he gets mad and um, you know he tries to get rid of Blake and all them and uh, uh, so, you know, that happens, and then Donald Blake and, uh, Thor end up in a bar, uh, talking about what they want to do, and, uh, you know, um, to talk about maybe Thor using his powers to, uh, be uh, a hero and everything, and meanwhile, uh, Dr. Banner, you know, he's trying to go back to work, and he's trying to get back with, his, uh, you know, work and be with his woman, um, uh, and then, like, there's a mob organization within this uh, scientific technology group that he's working with to build this uh, gamma transponder. And uh, they, you know, they start to uh, kidnap his girl, and uh, Thor and the Hulk have to work together. And they bond, and they go after her to save her. Uh, and uh, he, they do that, and, uh, you know, Dr. Banner sabotages the transponder so that it doesn't work for the mob bosses, and it, it, in return, it uh, stops him from being able to cure himself, and, uh, you know, so that's how that all plays out, and Thor and Hawk save the day, save the girl, um, they fight some bad guys, it's pretty cool, it's pretty interesting, Thor's uh, pretty funny in this, Eric Allen Kramer does a pretty good job, uh, and, you know, Bill Bixby and Lou Ferrigno always does a, does a, do a good job, and, um, 
Jack Colvin, who, uh, as I said, returns as uh, Doctor, uh, returns as Jack McGee, a reporter in search of uh, the Incredible Hulk, is in this. Meanwhile, in the background, background looking for him as he's done throughout the TV show for years. Uh, he's basically their general Ross of the show, and he never, you know, he never gets close to the Hulk. He, it's like he's almost there, but he never does. And he's, uh, he's sort of, you know, ridiculed, ridiculed by his publishers and everything for what he does. So he's there in the background. And uh, so, you know, at the end of the end of the events, uh, you know, Donald Blake and Thor go on their way. Uh, Dr. Banner has to leave his woman behind because she has figured out, you know, who he is and what he can do. And as per the Hulk, you know, his journey is a lonely road. So he decides he has to leave her to keep her safe and uh, thus walks away, you know, in the classic Incredible Hulk style with the music playing. So if you have not seen this movie, I, I would say check it out. It's pretty good. It's pretty good for a TV movie. You know, the, you know, it's pretty good old classic Hulk. Uh, it's interesting to see these characters, as I said, pre the pre the MCU and what you're used to and see how limited their power was and everything. And even Stan Lee, uh, you know, he executive consulted on this film. So it brings a little more to it than most TV movies. So uh, it's pretty good. And, you know, fun fact, you know, they named, uh, they changed the name of Dr. Banner from Bruce to David Banner. Uh, in this because they didn't quite like the name the executives didn't like quite uh, like the name of Bruce so that's why he is called Dr. David Banner in the Incredible Hulk uh, series uh, so there's a little fun fact for y'all and um, so yeah there's Marvel from the past Incredible Hulk Returns uh, hope you guys enjoyed it uh, it's not bad check it out there you go check it out <laughs> you know I own them uh, thanks for watching. Please have a great day. Please like, comment, subscribe below, share the video if you like. Follow me on FC Scene at FC Scene on Twitter if you like. Uh, you know, I appreciate it, guys, and uh, thanks for sticking with me. Godspeed, and thanks for watching.